Hello guys, welcome. So I'm about to listen to Fever, the full album. Well, this is the deluxe edition, but yeah, I'm about to listen to it for the first time ever. And the only two songs I've heard are Love at First Sight and Can't Get You Out of My Head. I have reactions for both of those, so if you haven't seen them, please do check them out. All right, let's get into it. Starting off with more, more, more. <laughs> Okay. Starting off very bass heavy. Vibes are strong. These vocals. Love the reverb and delay on her vocal. I mean, we all know Kylie knows how to kill this type of instrumentation. But this melody is so fun. I can tell. <laughs> He was having a lot of fun with this one vocally. She's playing around a lot, and I love it. That was fun. Starting off the album with a bang. Oh, straight into love at first sight. You're kidding me. This song is pop perfection, just in case anyone forgot. I'm just visualizing the music video in my head right now. <laughs> ah. The little filter at the end of the chorus. So cool. You know, I'm realizing Kylie really, really shines on bass driven tracks. I'm imagining that she went on tour for this album. If she did, I need to see that tour. <laughs> the chorus is so strong on this song that she doesn't need to do much else. <laughs> the song just kind of works itself out because it's so strong. Gorgeous. Oh, this song. Oh my goodness. I will just say, 
This song is very appropriately titled, and I just came to that realization like a year after hearing it, because I genuinely believe this song belongs on the top 10 list of catchiest pop songs ever written. Like, there's good pop music, and then there's this type of good pop music, where it's just universal, and <laughs> you literally can't get it out of your head. He really went off with this track. It's just perfect. It's perfect. Like, seriously, I am struggling not to sing along right now. And the thing is, the song is so simple. But I think that's exactly why. It's simple, but there's something so special about it. Guys, you may think I'm overreacting right now. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm doing a lot, but I am genuinely so fascinated by this song because of how amazing it is. Like, it's just one of those moments in music where someone really, truly strikes gold. And I know for me, this song is a great representation of everything I love about pop music. Oh, how I would have loved to be a fly on the wall in the studio during the creation of this track. All right, I'll shut up now. Also, I'm realizing so far this album sounds very outer spacey. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is you guys are very lucky I can't stand up right now. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I'd be out of frame. And I don't feel like refocusing my camera. It's probably already out of focus. I never know. I hate this camera. Sorry, that has nothing to do with Kylie. <laughs> okay, fever. The title track. Okay, I'm already noticing some cohesion with the production. That bass is crazy. Yeah, those harmonies! They're layered so beautifully. Oh! Well, it's not ready for all that. But nice! 
You know, this section of the song kind of reminds me of body language. Why is this song making me wish I had an attractive doctor? I don't know. <laughs> I love the drums on this one. Give it to me. What are these sounds? Wow. He's doing a lot of unexpected things so far. was nice. Loving this kind of raw vocal from her. The production so far has been immaculate. sound of this one is giving me goosebumps. I can't put into words what it's making me feel, but I'm loving it. There's just something about the way she's approaching it melodically. I think I'm gravitating towards this song because it just sounds darker than the other tracks. It has a mystique. I hear you in the background. Beautiful. Oh, come into my world. Okay, I have heard the song as well. <laughs> How could I forget that music video? Come, come 
and I love this song. I am so sorry coming to my world. has some hard hitters on this album. No wonder it did the numbers it did. Come on, this production. And the vocals. delicate vocals on this chorus. I will never forgive her for this song. It's an earworm. It really is. It's a lullaby and a club banger at the same time. Her, her vocals really carry this song. about these songs that just feel so freeing. I can't explain it, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. on a bass drop. Okay, well this song is titled Dance Floor, so <laughs> I'm expecting her to not hold back here. To be fair, we've been on the dance floor since track one, so <laughs> I'm surprised we're just getting here.
She must be so inspired by the 70s. Because she does this type of music so well. Oh. <laughs> this bass. I feel like she must have been very inspired by this record as well when she was making Disco, because I definitely feel like there's some inspiration from this album in Disco. Like, they are still very different, but just the feeling I'm getting from this album, it reminds me of when I listen to Disco. Bottom line is, she knows how to have fun. This one is gonna be another one of my favorites. Honestly, she should have made a visual album for this record. I feel like it deserves it. Well, it deserves it. Love Affair. I'm already loving the sound. Let's see where it goes. Kylie. Why are you doing this to me? Oh my gosh. Another bass drop! Although, that line, close your eyes so you can see, I don't think it works like that, but I will, I will leave that alone because the song is so good. <laughs> The vocal production, so good. Those background vocals, come on. Yeah, I've got to hear these songs live. Wow, that song was very appropriately titled because it sounds like <laughs> that that song sounded like the phrase in the heat of the moment. If you if you understand what I'm trying to say. It just captured that vibe perfectly of a love affair. So bass heavy. Now is the time to express my love. Want you to hear my confession. You're my obsession. Do what you will do, but I can't help the way I feel for you. Your love's got me going around and around, and it's taking me over. Your love's got me tumbling upside down, and I want you to know it. Your love's got me going around and around, and it's taking me over. This one is definitely the most chill that I've heard in a while. <laughs> 
a much needed break. a lovely bridge. Turning up. Down to the disco. Everything stops. Walking in so low. Everyone drops. Hey, summer madness. Totally cool. My heart starts racing when I see you. I'm burning up, baby. I'm burning up. What on earth? <laughs> I'm I should have seen it coming. I should have known better. Key change. The song is so interesting. But if it gives you one song, could it kiss you twice? Like, how are we going from campfire kumbaya to I don't even know. No, I got it. We're going from Kumbaya Campfire to Strip Club. There we go. Loving the background vocals. And again, that key change does add a lot. The contrast. I can't. What a way to end the standard edition of the album. Wow, I really enjoyed parts of that song, namely the instrumentation during the chorus and the bridge, and also the background vocals during the chorus and the bridge. Okay, this song definitely is giving me body language vibes. I mean, I'm starting to feel like she was throwing some hints as to what was to come. <laughs> <laughs> I am really enjoying this one. For some reason. I think it's just a well-crafted pop song, and I'm appreciating that.
I just love how laid back this one is. And those little ad lips. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, I'm sold. That transition did it for me. Honestly, this is another one of my absolute favorites. I was not expecting that. From a deluxe track, but yeah. This one is very strong, in my opinion. Okay. Whoa. Let me brace myself. This sounds intense. Oh my gosh. Thirty seconds in, and I feel like a go-go dancer. <laughs> I mean, had I known the song existed, I would have been playing it last month. I see strobe lights, shirtless men, body glitter, and it's dark. Why is this song painting such a strong picture? She did not disappoint with those bonus tracks. I want to say this album was like a fever dream because the title is Fever, but a fever dream is a bad thing and this was quite the opposite. <laughs> so I will just say this album was a dream. And as cheesy as that sounds, I mean it. This album sounded very dreamlike. Well, maybe a dream more partial to gaze, but a dream nonetheless. <laughs> Obviously I'm joking around, but she really did no wrong on this album in my opinion. I would gladly listen to this album all the way through. Her vocals were very strong here, and I love how she played around with them on certain tracks and really incorporated them into the production. And I also loved the movement of the album. Everything flowed nicely, nothing fell out of place, in my opinion. And most importantly, for me at least, it was sonically cohesive. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kylie. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I will tell you all my favorite tracks on my initial listen. So, looking at the track list on Spotify, we have Love at First Sight, Can't Get You Out of My Head, Fever, Fragile, Come Into My World, huh, that song, <laughs> In Your Eyes, Dance Floor, Love Affair, Boy and Butterfly. Yeah, those were my favorites on my initial listen. As always, you all will have to let me know what your favorites are. All right, guys, that's all for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so we can chat. Let me know what you thought of this album and what you'd like me to react to next. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!